All right. Okay, so hopefully, yay, there we are. All right. There we are. Okay. Hello, is anybody here with me today yet? Okay, that's activated. Hey, Joy, how are you? Hey, Carla. All right, so you guys know I don't normally like, you know, show you everything from start to finish, but a lot of people always ask how I do my wreath frames. Um, good morning, Cindy. Good morning, Judy. So I'm actually going to do, I haven't cut anything. I haven't prepared anything. Um, so like I said, you guys know I don't normally do that. Hey, Sandy. So this, I got this sign from Jane's Front Door Decor. Hey, Barb. So um, it's a metal one. Now you can do it, um, attach it one of two ways. You can use the metal hole punch, little punch holes in here. Or you can use these little um, attachments. So you don't want to rely on the glue from these attachments. So what I'm going to do is I have this Gorilla Glue. Okay. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate that. And I'm just going to attach a little, um, you know, a little dab here. And this does take a couple minutes to cure. So that's why we're going to go ahead and do this. And I'm just going to put one on each corner. Okay. Hey, Jackie. Good morning, Francis. I know I don't normally do morning lives. And I don't normally like do the whole thing from start to finish. But it's Wednesday. I actually don't have kids today. My husband went out to lunch with someone. So I'm like, yay. I have the house to myself. <laughs> hey, Jeannie. How are you? Yes, thanks for sharing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, and if you guys um, wouldn't mind, if you enjoy my videos, would you go and put a review on my Facebook page for me? That would be fabulous. They're saying that now Facebook wants to see reviews on your page. Oops, sorry. Reviews on your page. So if you guys wouldn't mind doing that, I would appreciate it. So I'm just like I said, I'm just getting this ready. And we're good to go. Hello, hello, hello. All right. So we're going to set that to the side and let that kind of cure a little bit while we do this. I have a bunch of stuff pulled. Good morning from Orange County. Hey, good morning, good morning. Okay. So next, I'm going to go ahead and make the wreath one because I always get questions on this. Always, always, always. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. I have full size pipe cleaners. Hey, Nina. And I have half size pipe cleaners. Now, this is just what I do. This is a box wreath frame from the Dollar Tree. And it has four rings around. And then it has these crossbars. Okay. Thank you for blessing me. Oh, well, happy birthday, Wanda. Yay. Everybody say happy birthday to Wanda. Good morning. Um. You missed what this is. This is a box, just a, it's called a box frame and it's from the Dollar Tree. So this is how I make mine. Hey, Connie. So what I do is I take a full height pipe cleaner and I fold it in half. Good morning, Kelly. And then I just put just a little dab of glue. Not much at all, just enough so they don't slide around. Okay. Then I take a half pipe cleaner. Hey, Cindy. And I do the same thing but I put it in the third row in the thing. Um, Deborah, yes, I am live. Maybe you need, you might have to go back in and come back out because you're on it. Is anybody, everybody else seeing it okay? Thanks now. And I do the same thing, okay? So this is what we have so far. In this, the inner, very inner ring, I have a full pipe cleaner, and then on the third ring, I have a half pipe cleaner. Then I put a full pipe cleaner in the middle between the two crossbars on the third row. The same row I put the half pipe cleaners. Yes, it is a, a 14 inch. Yep. Yeah, I don't know why it looks bigger. And then I just, again, put a little dab of glue. 
Okay, so that's what I do on every section. Okay, that's what I do. I don't, the reason I do the half pipe cleaners is because I do not, I put the mesh in every pipe cleaner, but I don't put the ribbon in the half pipe cleaners. I just think then the ribbons just get, they're two on top of each other. So that's just me. Yeah, I just put a little dab of glue. It helps them not to move around. Now, on the ones with the crossbars, you probably don't need to do it. But I'm like, well, I'm doing the rest. So I'll just, you know, pop a little bit of glue on there. And then they won't move around. Okay? So, again, I'm just doing the same thing. A full one here, half one here. And then in the middle, middle on the third row, I'm doing the um, full. Okay? And that's all I do. Yeah, I know. I That's just something I started doing a while ago. I don't remember when I started doing it. Um, but no, I do not, Kelly. Nope. Nope. I don't. I don't use one. I just cut it with a rotary cutter. And you're going to see, like I said, because I haven't gotten anything together yet. Oh, thank you, Cindy. I appreciate that. Um, and don't forget, I still have that wreath giveaway going on. So if you want information on how to enter that, click free and you will get information. If you don't already receive alerts, click live and you will get a live alert. You do have to respond to those messages. So make sure you respond. Okay. Hello, Deborah. How are you today? And, I mean, I don't sit here and measure them. I just kind of eyeball it in the middle where it's going to go. And you just kind of do this ahead of time. And what I like about making my own wreath forms is I can put whatever color pipe cleaners I want. I can put the pipe cleaners wherever I want. I mean, you can add more pipe cleaners or less pipe cleaners if you want. No problem, Pam. Hey, Esmeralda. Hey, Barb. So, yeah, I get this question a lot. So, and I have made videos before, but I thought, well, let me just come on and do start to finish because I normally have my wreath frame done. I normally have my mesh cut. I normally have my all my ribbon cut, but um, so it's going to be a little different this time. I'm going to do everything right here, and you're going to see everything I do. These glue strings are driving me crazy. <clears throat> hey Andrea, how are you? So how's everybody doing today? Everybody good? It's Wacky Wednesday. Hump day. Oh, no problem, Claudia. Thanks for stopping in. Yeah, I think so too, Cindy. I think so too. Um... You know, because the wreath frames from the Dollar Tree are only a dollar. Now with tax, of course, mine is a dollar six. And then, you know, you buy your pipe cleaners, you can get 25 for, you know, a couple bucks or something. Hey, Judy, how are you? Oh, thanks, Jeannie. Thanks so much. Appreciate that. Like I said, if you guys wouldn't mind, if you like what I do, if you could put a review on my page for me. Facebook is changing stuff all the time. Hey, Teresa from Pennsylvania. I do. I do. This is a bedroom that we have, a spare bedroom. If you could leave me a review on my page, I would appreciate that. Almost done here. Thanks, Kathy. All right, so last one. Oh, thanks, Judy. Hey, Janie, how are you? How'd you make out with that flower, Janie? Like I said, if you have any questions, let me know and we can do a Zoom call on it. All right, so that's my wreath frame. That's how I make it. 
good to go. I normally do that before I do my mesh and then I just set it to the side and let the glue kind of harden a little bit. So that's what I do. Oh, thanks, Kelly. All right. So does anybody have any questions on that? I have a mess behind me, you guys, but okay. Put this out of the way. <clears throat> okay. So now we're going to cut our mesh and oh, awesome, Cindy. Hey, Jane from Alabama. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut the mesh. I have two different colors of pink mesh. And you guys, if you don't have one of these wreath um, mesh holders, you need to get one because they are fantastic. I couldn't live without them. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm, and I'm going to cut them both at the same time. Okay. So I have a, a like a bright pink one and a light pink. And let me see. Use this. Um, Esmeralda, I just, for me, I like the placement that I have. It's totally up to you. You just want to kind of space them out a little bit. All right, I'm going to get a clean edge here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my rotary cutter. Oh, great, Cindy. Yeah, I love my, my mesh holder. All right, and then I'm just going to get rid of that. Okay, and I'm going to cut these. Just not having luck today. All right. So I'm going to cut these about 12 inches. Oh, thanks. All right. And I think they're just sticking on each other. Okay. So I'm going to cut these about 12 inches. Yeah, it makes it so much easier to pick up. Okay. And then I'm just going to get them out again. The mesh is just sticking to each other. Okay. A couple at a time here. All right. So that just kind of holds it down. Yep. The cutter's under there. And, all right. Whoops. Not cooperating. I think they're just sticking to each other. That's why. Okay. Um, you can't sharpen it, but you just use um, different blades. The blades, um, you just switch out the blades, and it's really easy to do. That's catching on. That's why. And when you're not using it, um, make sure that you close the blade because you don't want to cut yourself. These babies are sharp. I actually prefer... Oh, thanks, Judy. I do prefer the 10-inch mesh rather than the 21-inch. I don't know why. I use definitely use a lot more 10-inch than I do 21-inch. Um, Oops. Okay, I need a couple more. Yeah, that way it's not on the floor. It's not like rolling around on the floor. Yeah, you just replace the blades. Yep. And they're very easy to replace and they're not expensive. I think it's just the way it's sitting too. Um, I get my mesh from um, Craft Outlet or Trendy Tree or um, Craig Bachman. Um, Deco Exchange. I know that's what I should have done, Siddy, but I wasn't thinking when I did it. So now that's why they're sticking together. <laughs> um, yeah, so 1, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 
So I think that's all we need for now. But we'll leave this here just in case we need more. Yeah, that's definitely what I should have done. Remember, close your blade. All right. So now, and I haven't done this method, I don't think, in a long, long time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the row one out of the way. Just kind of push them to the front. And I'm going to take one of them. And you see it has a natural roll to it, so you just want to go with that natural roll. And this is called the, um, I don't remember what it's called. Good morning. Okay, so you have it in a roll like that. Okay, and then you measure about four inches. And then about four inches, and you pinch. And then you, so it's kind of the curl loop method. Okay, so then it kind of looks like, like an awareness ribbon, right? Okay, so then I'm going to put this in one of the... Now, um, Nina, the only mesh I really buy from Michael's is um, their jute mesh. I'm not real crazy about their regular mesh, but that's just me. Okay, so that's the first one. Then we're going to use this bright pink one, the fuchsia one, and do the same thing. Okay, so just gather it. Hey, Johnny, how are you? Yep, the poof and curl method, yep. And then just put this one in the next one. Okay, so you're kind of, you know, overlapping them a little bit. And then go to the next one. So I'm just going to alternate the light pink and then the dark pink. Yeah, the jute mesh, the jute mesh is okay from there, but the regular mesh, uh, it, it frays a lot, yeah. Okay. Yep, I agree. It really does fray a lot, so. So that's what it looks like so far, and we're just going to do that all the way around. So what are you guys all doing today? Anything fun? Yeah, it really does. I don't, I really don't buy the mesh from, from there. Like I said, the jute mesh is okay. That's fine, but I don't really use it, um, any other, any other mesh. And what I do is I just kind of gather it at four inches. So you have four inch tails. Oh, fun, Kelly. Um, Johnny, I think Craft Outlet, um, has good mesh. Oh, thanks, Kathy. Oh, fun doing laundry. Um, when you say instruct, well, this is what I do, Andrea. I do it on here, and you kind of, you have the instructions here as I'm going along. Do you mean like a list of what I'm using, or... Like I said, I'm going to just do about four inches on each side, and then, oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you just want to tuck that, you know, cut edge under. And, you know, normally I always do the poof method or the ruffle method. You guys know I'm, I'm pretty much stuck on that all the time. Yeah, Nina, it's just, it's just not great quality. It's just not. 
Yep, I use the frame the same way every time. Yep. Yeah, the materials do make a big difference. So, like I said, I do prefer using the 10-inch um, mesh over the 21-inch mesh. I just And I like the ruffle method the best. So, but it's just something, you know, you kind of, um, you kind of start to get a preference on what you like to do. And like I said, lately I'm stuck on the ruffle method. I really like it. Okay, and you just keep going around. And like I said, I'm just alternating the light, the light pink and the fuchsia. Make sure that's kind of tucked in. I'm not usually on on during the day a lot, so how's everyone doing? You guys could share this, I would appreciate it. Um, it's not an awareness frame, it's just a round frame. A 14 inch round frame that I'm doing the curl and loop method that kind of looks like little awareness ribbons. I have done the buffle, bubble method, yes. I think so too, Johnny. I think so too. Oh, good. Hey, Sandra. Yeah, I think the ruffle method just makes it look really nice and full. And um, I don't know, I just think that's my favorite. Hey, Linda, how are you? Hey, Muriel, how's it going? Always wants to un. Hello, Donna. I'm just about done. Yeah, me too. I don't know. I just like it. Oh, awesome, Colleen. How'd it come out? Oh, absolutely, Jeannie. I do that all the time. <laughs> all the time. And like I said, I'm always on Mondays and Thursday nights, so I'm sure. I don't know what I'm making yet tomorrow night, but it'll probably be the ruffle method. Um, this is just a basic mesh and the mesh came from craft outlet okay so that's one that's just the bottom row okay so that's what it looks like and now we're going to do the top row thank you thank you I know I'm never I'm never on um Lena in the very beginning of this I showed you how to do the pipe cleaners so if you save this to your page, then you can, or share it, if you could share it, that would be wonderful. And it will be on your page. Um, I also have made several videos showing you how to do that. And I might add more pipe cleaners. We'll wait and see. Yes, I just like the ruffle method too. I just like the way it looks. So, I don't know, it's just me. I think it's just a preference. Hey, Terry, aren't you on vacation? So like I said, I'm just taking it, rolling it, and then doing about four inch tails and putting it in. I used 12 full pipe cleaners and um, six half pipe cleaners. <clears throat> okay. Oh no, Cindy, that would stink. Well, you can always watch the replays. That's what's nice about all of the um, the lives. Yep, 18, Claudia. Yep, thank you for posting that. Okay. 
like so. Need more room. Oh, Kelly, yeah, I know, right? You can't, I just, drives me crazy. This is my happy place, you know? Kind of takes you away from everything, kind of gets you, gets me grounded. Make sure those edges are tucked in there, too. Thanks, Peggy, I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I don't know. I just prefer that ruffle method because it really does make for a full looking wreath base. The mesh I cut to 12 inches. Yep, I cut 12 inches, about between 10 and 12 inches. I know, Cindy, it is an addiction. It really is. And once you start, boy, you're in big trouble. <laughs> no problem, Glenda. Sure. Okay. So, this is the last one. Oh, yeah. yeah, you need to pay the bills, that's for sure. Okay, so that is what it looks like, okay? And that's the, the poof curl method. All right, so now I think what I'm going to do, because I don't think this looks very full to me, um, you can really kind of see the frame, a lot of the frame. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I don't like that. So I'm going to take some of this bright pink. Let me get this off of here. Okay. Oh, thanks, Jackie. I want to get rid of that. Okay, so then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the... Oh, you know what? I have one of these open. Let me grab that one. Let me grab that one. The pink and green. That won't go. Okay, so... Good morning, Lainey. How are you? So let me just cut one of these and see if I like this. Okay. Bailey. I swear she barks at anything. Alright, let me just see. Yeah, um, I just changed this layout because I had a crib in the corner and it was driving me crazy. Um, and I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, so let's see. I don't know if I'm going to like this or not. No, I don't like that on top of it. Okay. So then. Um, I'll have to look, Joy. Hello, Charlotte. How are you? Okay, so now I have a bunch of different things. A bunch of different ribbons to choose from. Should we do a bow? Let's do a bow. Do you guys want to see a bow or just the ribbon streamers? I have a bunch, a bunch, a bunch. <laughs> So, like I said, guys, I'm winging it. 
and I normally have all this stuff figured out, but because I'm winging it, you guys get to see the whole <laughs> shebang. All right, so let me get my wire up here. All right. I don't have the pink ombre. I wish I did. All right, so get my little tool caddy going here. Get my pegs going. Yeah, I think the bow would definitely fill it in better, but I know I'll end up doing streamers too, so. Okay, so you cut, I cut two wires when I do the bow. Cut them about, I don't know, 28 to 30 inches. Oh, no problem, Nina. Thanks for watching. Okay. So Cut. I like to make mine long so I don't so I make sure I have enough. Hey Martha, how are you? I know I'll definitely do streamers too, but um, get a bow, see what we got here. Towards the end of that one. All right, put that there. And I fold it in half. Get that ready. All right, now we have lots to choose from. Okay, and all of my. I have enough of that one. Definitely use that one. And then I'll use the white one. Um, I use the um, 24 gauge wire because I found when I use the 26 gauge wire that I break it all the time. So I like the 20, 24 gauge. So it's a little thicker. All right, so that's that. And then I'm going to use that one and this one. I'll use these two. Hopefully I'm going to have enough. Okay, we will see what's going on. I made them six inches. Yeah, I just like making them a little bigger. Let's see how far this one goes. I don't think it's going to go very far. All right, so I'm going to do, and I always say this, my version of the Terry bow because um, I know it's different than what she actually does. But okay, so let me um, zoom you guys in a little bit here. Maybe look this way. Okay. All right, can you guys, whoops. You guys see that okay? Thank you for sharing. All right, so this first one, what I do is I take it and I wrap it around the center peg. All right, and then I kind of gather it together. Um, one came with the Probo the hand and one I made. And then I just take and I wrap the wire tightly around it. And the first wire is basically just to get your bow started. Okay. And I have, let me see here, a list of where I got some of the stuff. <clears throat> like where I got the mesh holder, where I got the sign, and I'm going to pin that comment there. Okay. So then what I do is I take this uh, top 
wire and I wrap it around and you want to make sure you watch it or wrap it um, hey Yolanda clockwise okay that's very important and then you take the bottom one and there's a little nail under here and I just take it and wrap it once around the little nail and get it out of the way okay all right then I'm going to cut this off I'm going to dovetail the ends here and I'm going to put these tails up here all right now here's where the second wire comes in this is called the helping hand wire okay and all you do is you take it and put it in between here okay so you guys can see that in between this one right here you take it and you feed it in and to the right of the peg okay I always say there's tool, two tools I can't live without. <laughs> Good job, Jackie. Um, the probe of the hand and my mesh roller. I love these two tools. And then just do it once. All right, then you take your second ribbon. I'm going to use the white, and I'm going to dovetail the end. I'm going to measure it out to the C peg. And then I'm going to gather it. I'm going to put the tail up here and hold it right on the back here and then wrap it around this finger. Gather it and twist and then put it on that finger. Make sure your tails are up there. <laughs> Thanks, Dana and then tie it off okay and then what i do is i take it to the end of the peg here put my scissors against the peg and cut it to that size all right so that's two Let's see if i have enough of this all right so then i'm going to use this one again the bow this the bow uh, the fluff box you can get that at probothehand.com or you can make your own. I, um, Regina had directions on her site how to make it and I just made my own because you want them to be heavy so that they hold the bow down as you're, um, as you're, you know, pulling on the ribbons. So it might cost a little more to um, get it shipped. And then basically I'm going to do the same thing here, twist and cut it off. Make sure you don't cut your fingers because I've done that. All right, so now we have a couple of them going here. Let me pull you guys in front. Oh, that's better. Get a little better view. <clears throat> okay. Then we're going to do the... Um, so I have one, two, three. I'm going to do the fourth one and a half inch ribbon. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing. Put the tail there. Hold it here. Hey, Rose. And wrap it around. And then tie it off. And there we go. Okay. So now we have that. Now I'm thinking I'm going to I'm going to save this for the streamers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this fuchsia. Because we have pretty much all light pinks there and we need some dark pink in there so these two i'm going to pull together all right i'm going to get grab both of them pull them at the same time i'm going to dovetail the ends remove that there okay i'm going to measure this out to the c going to gather it. Thank you, Claudia. Thank you, Annie. Put 
that there. I'm going to tie this one off because we're going to use this on all of the rest. Okay, wrapped around this finger. And then you want to gather it together. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And twist. Regina calls it bottoms up because you want that pretty side of the ribbon facing front. Thanks, Rose. Okay, so gather. And then twist. I'm going to tie this off here. Okay, around this one. Now what you want to watch too is, if you guys can see this, can you see right here? Let me zoom in. When you're doing your um, helping hand wire, you see how that's in a line right there? You really want to kind of keep that all in a line together. Like you don't want it to go way over here or way over there. You kind of want to keep it in a line right here. Hey, Susie Brown, how are you? Okay, so I'm going to zoom out again so you guys can see that. Hey, Emma, how are you? Okay, so again, just going to gather it and twist. Susie is the inventor of the mesh roller I was telling you guys about. So if you have any questions about it, ask Susie. She's here. They did put a um, pinned comment there so you guys can grab it. Oops. It's enough for that one, though. <clears throat> And I'm just going to pinch it and twist and wrap it around this last peg and then we're going to cut it off. Oh, thanks. Appreciate that. And twist, all right? And then I'm going to tie it off here. All right, then I'm going to take this. And I'm going to cut this off. Oh, Barb, you do. You do, you do, you do. I love my Probo, like I always say. Two pieces of equipment I can't live without. My Probo and my mesh holder. So then I just take these two helping hand wires and I twist them together. Okay, it's just something that I do. Some people cut them off. I like to keep it on. Um, the pinned comments should be right there. It should always stay on your screen. You should always see that. All right, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to untwist this one. Yeah, you should see the post from me, um, and it should be right there. Okay, and then I'm going to, it should be like right at the bottom of your screen. Undo that one at the bottom, and then I'm going to pull it tight and twist. Oh, thanks, Tammy. Yeah, the pin post should stay right at the bottom of your screen, and if you scroll up that, um, you should be able to, it's not showing, it's showing here. It's showing on my phone. It says Wreath by Busy Bees. Um, the sign is from Jane's. Do you see it, Johnny? Let me see here. Pin's post is not there. Let me see if it's not. It says it's pinned. Hmm. Let me try. I will. I'll um. 
I put it on the comments again, so you should be able to see it there. Oh, someone says it is there. Okay. Oh, you see it on yours? Okay. Okay, yeah, a bunch of people see it, huh? You think it needs an Okay, yeah, I don't know why it didn't show up that first time. I don't know. Is it frozen? Am I frozen? Okay, yeah, it's at the bottom of the page. I don't know why it's not. Um, hmm. Okay, can you guys see me? Because, okay, it's at the top of the screen. Okay, can you guys see everything? Because my phone and my, um, oh, there we go. Okay. All right, so then I just take that middle pin out to pull the, the bow out, and the bow looks like this, okay, when you pull it out. Um, Glenda, a lot of the times I get mine, and I'm not sure if I'm going to make another bow, so I'm not going to take this apart yet. I buy mine from Craft Outlet. Um, I buy ribbon from everywhere. So let's fluff this bow out. Okay, and here's my, okay, can you guys see the fluff box? So then what you do is you just take your bow and you wrap it around that peg, stand it up, and then tie it off. Oh, okay. All right. And then I'm just going to start fluffing my bow out, okay? And that's what's nice about this fluff box. You can really kind of yank on that ribbon to get it where you want it to be. Put that over there. Put that there. Here. All right. And then I'm going to turn to my box and I'm going to do it the other side. Thank you, thank you, Maria. And you want to try and not have the same ribbon right next to each other, but it's always going to happen. <clears throat> okay, so just spread it out there. These all where I want them. Oh, it's sold out at Craft Outlet. Oh wow. Well, my um I have the affiliate link there for my Probo. So if you guys are interested, it's off of Amazon. Okay. Um, I got this pink ribbon at craft outlet and i think i got this oh i got this at pat Catan's at a um, craft store in um, pittsburgh hey annette how are you all right so that's my bow so let's put this one on and see what else i think i need okay bring you guys out a little bit We are going to put this on. I'm going to grab my sign. And I'm going to put that there. Yeah, Carolina Potter, yes. All right, so I think what I'm going to do is put this up here. And I might make two more bows. I think that's what I'm going to do. And then I will probably add the streamers around the bottom. All right, so that's what I'm going to do. So two more bows. Here we come. All right, so that's our first bow. So go ahead and put this on. Okay. Caught on 
there. I'm going to take the wire and I'm going to wrap it. Yes, all the ribbons I use are wired. Absolutely. Okay. Yep, I don't use um, ribbon that's not wired. Okay, then I'm just going to wrap it around. And I have it around the um, frame where it's together. Okay, and then I will cut this off. Make sure that's where I want it. Yep. And then all I will do is, thanks Melody. Oh this off a little bit so it's not so long. And I'm just going to wrap this around so it doesn't go anywhere. Okay, and that's our first bow. Of course it gets smushed when you do that. Okay, so we have the first bow. Now we're going to make two more. Now that we know that's what we want. Hopefully I'll have enough of that. All right, so we're going to do the same process that we just did there one more time. Two more times, actually. <laughs> yeah, I only use, <clears throat> excuse me, wired ribbon. Yep, Cindy, just get it out and get practicing, girl. You can do it. Yep, you can definitely do it. Okay, my second wire there. Fold them in half. Okay, I'm going to start all over again. Same thing here. I need that yep, that's right, Rose. Okay, get that, put it in the center here, and we're going to take our first wire and wrap it around there. Then we're going to take the top wire and wrap it around. Remember, you will need to make sure that you're doing that clockwise. And then take the bottom one, wrap it around that pin. Bring you guys back here. And cut it off. Oops, I cut that wrong. And then that goes up there. All right, then we're going to take that second wire, the helping hand wire, and we're going to put it right through the center of this. And we're going to bring it onto the right side, wrap it around the peg. Whoops. And just twist it once to tie it off. <clears throat> Don't forget, guys, about the wreath, the free um, Halloween wreath. Um, that is until tomorrow night. So type free wreath there if you want information on that. Oh, thanks, Annie. All right, thanks, Nancy. I will see you later. And tie it off.
Again, I'm going to bring it over to that C peg, put my scissors against there, and do that. And we're going to take this wire again, or this uh, ribbon again, and use this one. You should get a message. Make sure you reply to that message. Whether you are looking for a live, if you want my live alerts. Oh, awesome, Cindy. Thanks, Jackie. And then just cut that off. And go to the floor. And we're just going to do the same thing. Oh, thank you, thank you, Karen. Much appreciated. Don't forget to check out my Etsy shop. I have all my wreaths in there. The fluff box you can get... Um, Um, you can get it Provo the Hand. Okay. Alrighty. We're going to do our two and a half inch ribbon here. Take that together. Yep, thank you, Pamela. And I'm going to dovetail the ends there. Good morning, Ramona. How are you? Measure it out to the C. Put that there, tie it off. Yeah, the um, Amazon, I don't believe, has the um, fluff boxes, but I have my affiliate link for Amazon for the Probo the Hand. I do get a couple pennies from that if you get one. Um, I just bought for the, um, the, the wreath, the fluff box, I just bought like a 12-inch box, 12-inch square box. And then I put like heavy um, kitchen tiles, old kitchen tiles in it. And then just got a 12 inch piece for the top and screwed it or uh, nailed it together. Yes, yeah, so Cindy said she uses a heavy cutting board. Some people you put a nail right on here or a little um, eye hook on there and do it right on their board. Yep, if you guys want to receive alerts, just type in live. Just make sure you re respond to that message or else you won't be... Um... Hey, Diane. Thanks for stopping by. You won't get the alerts. Why is this sliding all over again? Yep, if you guys could share it to your personal page, I would much appreciate it. Okay, last one here. I don't know why all of a sudden this is sliding all over. I must have something on here. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so then I'm going to tie this off.
So how many of you put in for the um, free wreath? Did you get? Don't forget if you um, like and follow my page, you get two entries. If you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you get two entries. And then every day you can go back and get another entry as well. So just share that if you would. Okay, cut that off. Cut these off here. Thanks, Donna. Oh, good. Okay, make sure that's not still attached there. Bring your wire out from underneath. Pull them together. That's why I was on the ribbon or something. Pull tight and twist. Well, thanks, Jeannie. Appreciate it. Like I said, I normally do my lives. I try to keep them in about an hour. I pre-cut everything ahead of time. Um, but this time you're going to see it from start to finish. Just because I did want to show you guys how to do the re... How to make the bows, how I cut everything. And then to get this off, I just pop it off like that. And then we'll set that to the side because we have one more to make yet. So when you guys, those who um, make wreaths, do you guys like to put bows on or just streamers or what do you do? Sometimes I use, a lot of times I just put the streamers on. I don't add bows. I do. Um, I do the helping hand wire. I twist those two together and the um, regular, the beginning wire, I twist together. It just makes them a little stronger when I tie it on the um, wreath. Some people take that helping hand wire and they just cut it off. I just keep it on there and use that. Here we go again, one more time. My wires are stuck together. Oh, thanks, Linda. I know, right? I haven't eaten lunch either, but that's okay. I'll get some when we're done. Thanks, Rose. Okay, and like I said, this first, um, you do both sometimes. Yeah, I do too. Sometimes, but a lot of times I just use the streamers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yep, if you guys, if you like my page, if you guys could put a review on there for me. Facebook is changing stuff all the time, and now they say they want you to do reviews. They want, you know, people to review your page. So if you guys can do that, that would be great. Okay, put those up there. And take my helping hand wire again. I'm going to feed it through here. Bring it to the right of this peg. And this is my helping hand wire that we use. You haven't seen a bow like this before, or what, Linda? White. Oh, thanks, Lynn. Measure it out to the C. Reach it. Put that on there. Uh, 
Um, just like, you know, if you like my page, if you like what I do, that kind of thing, Johnny. Like I said, all of a sudden now Facebook wants reviews on your page. Oh, okay. Thanks, Linda. Oops. I got it all messed up now. Um, Linda, I made my own. I like the taller pegs. So I just took, um, you need 3H inch dowels. I just bought a really long one. And um, I cut them down to six inches and made my own. I just like having the pegs taller. You go from the outside ties to use the third row ties as one round. You mean on the frame, Deborah? I'm not sure what you're asking. Well, thanks, Jackie. Jackie, speaking of bows, your box should be there tomorrow. Put this up here. Yet when I do my twist tie or my pipe cleaners on my frame, I use the very inner ring and I use the third row. Hey Bessie, I'm well, how are you today? <clears throat> Last one here. Out to the sea, gather it. Yes, John, yep. Yep, if you like my page, and then if you share my page, it helps get my, my page out there. And Facebook changes stuff all the time, how they want you to do things, what they're looking for. Um, and now, like I said, now they're looking for, do you have reviews on your page? So they're always changing what they're saying, what they want, you know, that kind of stuff. So I don't know. It's just crazy. Okay. Almost done here. I'm going to pull the two, two and a half inch ribbons together at the same time for all these. Damon always says Facebook is like a jealous boyfriend, you know, it kind of likes you to stay there and, you know, do what it wants you to do and that kind of thing. So you kind of have to play the Facebook game if you want to be on Facebook. So again, you just gather it together and bottoms up like Regina calls it to bring the pretty side of the ribbon facing forward because you want all of your ribbon facing forward. How many of you guys have subscribed to my YouTube channel? On my comments first, and I can't really see anymore. Are you guys still out there? Oh, there you go. I see Johnny's response. <laughs> oh, great, Linda. Thank you. Thanks, Deborah. Yeah, I just started doing that, so I appreciate if you guys would. Subscribe to my YouTube channel.
Yes, Carla, I do. Uh-huh. I, um, I make custom wreaths, and I ship from Pennsylvania. And honestly, the price range, it just depends what you're looking for and what goes on it. Anywhere from probably $50 to $100 is what... Um, the name of my YouTube channel is Wreaths by Busy Bees Customs Creations. Okay, the last one here. Hey, Anne, how are you? Yep, it's, um, get it up there. Here's my YouTube channel. If you guys would, would love to have you subscribe to the channel. Oh, great, Linda. Yeah, the pegs are easy. I just, like I said, I bought, I think it was two or three of the long... Hey, Sue, no problem of the long, you know, holes of it. It's just the 3H ints. Um, all right, great. All right, Carla. I live about an hour west of Philadelphia. So I kind of live between Philadelphia and Lancaster. Yay, thanks, Linda. Okay, cut off. And then I'm going to undo this wire here. And straighten that out. And then get that wire from underneath here. And pull this tight. Oh, thanks, Ann. Hey, Tammy, how are you? Hey, how's it going? New Hope, PA. Oh, yeah, that's about an hour for me, Karen. Yeah. Uh-oh, it's frozen. Um, Barbie, try going out and coming back in. Sometimes it just, you know, does that, so you have to go out and come back in again. No problem, Claudia. Thanks for watching. Oh, you're near Scranton? Yeah, that's a couple hours away. Yep, Scranton's a couple hours. Okay. Take it off, take that middle peg off, and it just slides right off. Let me get these out of the way. Oh, great, Barbie. Hey, Martha, how are you? Okay, we're done with our board. I am not, Linda. I wish I was. Um, just couldn't swing the finances this year. I'm hoping to go to the Wreath Makers Live. Oh, okay, Karen. That's awesome. Okay, get all this stuff out of the way. Not sure what I'm going to use yet for the streamers. I have enough rip of this ribbon. This is all I have of this ribbon. I might use this. We will see. Not sure yet. I think I remember you telling me that before, Karen. Oh, thanks, Dulcie. Stuff out the way. Yeah, this white um, came from um, Costco, I think it was. Yeah. Okay, that's done. Oops. All right, 
Bring you guys back out a little bit. Okay. All right. Now, let's get our fluff box out. We'll fluff these two bows out. And then we will move on to the streamers. You guys have any big plans for today? The big pink roll, I actually, um, I sold those for a while. I have, um, they're linens and I love them. If you make wreaths, you need to have a basic stock of the linen ribbon. I have it in light pink, dark pink. I have it in um, all kinds of colors greens, moss green, um, all kinds of colors. It's a good, you know, oh, what fun going to the dentist. I had to go, was it last week or the week before? Because I chipped one of my teeth filling came out, so I had to go and get that redone. Oh no, Jackie! Oh no! Clean it up! Clean it up! Clean it up! What a mess! Oh, you mean this? This I got from Craft Out. I love that one. Um, the other one I got from a place in Pittsburgh. Yep. That there. <clears throat> okay. There's our second bow. Last one. Oh, Jackie, I hope you can get that cleaned up. That's a mess. A mess, a mess, a mess. Oh, no. <laughs> Jackie makes signs, and Jackie is the one I got the last couple of... Um... Oh, this one? Yeah, I actually got... Um... This from a place uh, called Pat Catan's up in Pittsburgh. I know, I love that. Hey, Tracy, how are you? Tracy, I never did make it up to um, Ed London last week. Oh, thank goodness, Jackie. You don't want to waste that paint, girl. But yeah, Jackie made a bunch of the signs that I've done the Noel sign and um, my goodness, the last couple of reads I made, I think I all the signs came from Jackie. Hi. There's my bows. Hey, Dora, how are you? Ooh. All right. Let's get these other two bows on here. Oops. Get my wire going there. Okay. Let's sign on first, I think. All right, so you guys saw me in the beginning. I um, put 
these. And I'm going to get the pipe cleaners. Get them on here and just feed them through there like that. And they have, you know, two holes there and there, so you can do it either way. Oh, thanks, Ann. I'm going to get this attached here. Hey, Wendy, how are you? Oh, awesome, Kathy. I wish I could make signs. I am not um, good at signs. Oh, okay, Karen. Um, these are little, um, I don't think I have the bag. They're um, like attachments. They just have um, like sticky back on them. I forget what they're called now. Oh, I can't remember what they're called. I'll have to look that up. I think I have, yeah, the white tabs. Hold on, let me see. I think I have the bag over here. Oh, here we go. They're called table cable mount. Can you see that? Cable tie mounting bases. You can get them at, thank you, Kara. <laughs> You can get them at Walmart, you can get them off of Amazon, you can get them, you know, pretty much anywhere. Okay. Yeah, cable mount ties. Where's my other one at? There it is. Okay. All right. My sign one. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, they're cable mount ties. Um, yeah, you can use them, or like I said, you can use um, the hole, the metal hole punch to attach your metal signs, whichever you prefer. On it. All right. Then we'll get these other two bows on here. Oops. Stuck to that. And then, like I said, what I'll do is I will put um, streamers around the bottom. with that um pamela that's why i use the gorilla glue to put them on instead of i don't just rely on the um you know the glue that comes on the mounts so i add the gorilla glue to it so they shouldn't come off But yeah, but if you're, you know, concerned about that, you can always just do them, um, use the, the um, hole punch, the metal hole punch. Which, you know, I've done it both ways, so. Get this bow on here. Oh, they have Nancy, huh? Oh, thanks, Wendy. Okay. Getting that 
that wrapped around there. Okay, so that's what it looks like with the three bows on there, and that makes it really full. Okay, what do you guys think? All right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the ribbon streamers around the bottom row to kind of fill that in a little more. And let's see. I only need six. So I don't know if I'm going to have enough. Oh, Wendy, you got to try it. Super glue. Okay, so I'm going to use this one. This, again, is where I love my mesh holder because I use it for my ribbon streamers. Works great. So I'm going to cut six of these because I only need six around the bottom. I'm going to cut them to 14 inches. And this, the mesh holder just makes it so much easier. One, two, three, four, five, and I need one more. Thanks, Kathy. Okay. Yeah. And I'm going to use this one. Hold on. There we go. Oh, that one's not going to fit on there. All right. Usually they fit, but this one's a big roll. How do you go live? What tools do you need? Connie, you can just use your cell phone. If you have a cell phone, that's really all you need. Um, to get started. I use Amiibo, but I bought that once, you know, I could afford it. Three. Four. Yeah, I just use um, packing tape for my boxes. And I used to own, my husband and I used to own a UPS store, so I know how to pack a box, let me tell you. Definitely know how to pack a box. <laughs> I do not have any problems with that. Yeah, you just use shipping tape. No problem, Sheila, if you just share it. It will save to your page and you can watch it over and over and over again. up this other ribbon because it's all I have so I might as well use it. Hopefully I have enough of this. So like I said a lot of times and, you know, on my lives, I just do, I try to keep it to an hour. I have everything pre-cut. But this, you guys kind of get a better idea of what it, um, you know, it does take a little while to do. See, doesn't that make cutting ribbons so much easier? Oh. Uh, Connie, you know what? When I make 
when I make a lot of my ribbon flowers, I do oopses all the time because with the ribbon flowers, you want a point. So you're cutting the opposite way that you normally do with dovetailing. Well, then I always end up, you know, messing it up. Okay, so for this, I'm going to use all four of the streamers. Okay, so I'm going to use this one. Pink one, this pink one, and then this one. So I'm going to use all four of them together. And I'm going to fold them in half. And then just gather them. Oops. Gather them. And then put them in my row, the bottom row streamers. Okay. Now, like I said before, if you guys are using ribbon that has print on it, like this, um, this one, the fight and that kind of stuff, you want to make sure you're using them all in the same direction. So just be aware of that. Oh, sure. If you guys want to stay on, I'm not used to being on this long. If you guys want to see it, sure. Okay, so again, you're just gathering it. And putting it in. Ribbon streamers here. If I can find them. I found my pipe cleaners. The sign came from Jane's Front Door Decor. I have it um, pinned there so you can see. Thanks, Judy. find my um no problem sherry yeah some of it um you know it's not as nice as some other stuff you get it but if you use it in a bow, it kind of... All right, so what I do with... If I'm done with the streamers, I... Um, thanks, Charlene. I take them and I just roll them around. So it kind of makes a little curl. So it... Um, you know, just makes it a little more decorative. You don't want them just sticking straight out. A lot of people cut them off. You can cut them off. I just kind of roll them under like that. Last couple in. Again, I need to find my pipe cleaners here. Sometimes they get lost and I can't find them. Okay. You have to hunt for them. <laughs> I know there's one there, but I can't find it.
right. Two more to go. Sherry. All right, find this last one here. And my pipe cleaners. There it is. Okay. Thanks, Cindy. Oh no, yeah, Heather, I did, like I said, I normally am not on this long, but I wanted to do a start, you know, from start to finish. Um, wreath so you guys can see how I make my wreath frames and all that kind of stuff. Thanks, Heather. Oh, thanks, Kathy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Now, I know I have one more here. I just have to find it. Hey, Margaret, how are you? Okay. I have one in here. I just have to find my pipe cleaners. There they are. Okay. I knew they were lost in there somewhere. No, no, I don't, Jeannie. You can add different streamers. You can, or, yeah, you can absolutely, you don't have to use all the ribbon you use. You can use totally different ribbons. Yep. Um, Mary Lee, the um, streamers here are 14 inches. Um, Charlene, if you um, share this video, it will go on your page, and then you can um, watch exactly how I did the pipe cleaners. Um, if you have any questions, let me know, but um, in the beginning of the video, I showed everyone how to do it again. All right, so I think that's pretty much it. What do you guys think, huh? All right. So this will be in my Etsy shop later today, if I can get it listed and get it on there fluff everything out. Um, how many of you guys want to see ribbon flowers? Show me with a thumbs up or a heart if you guys want to see some ribbon flowers. Let me see if I can find my stuff here. Oh, let's see. The gold ones and the gold ones. You want to see some ribbon flowers? All right, I haven't made it with these before, so I think I'll make them with, oh, no problem, Charlene. I'm going to need my little thing here. Okay, so for the ribbon flowers, what you need, let me get this stuff off. Let me just get this put away here real quick. Now for each ribbon flower, you definitely want to use wired ribbon and you want to, oh, I need pipe cleaners. Um, you want to use, um, I'm trying to think what else? You can use whatever you want, but you want it to be at least two and a half inches wide because if you use one and a half, they just turn out too tiny. Let me get some pipe cleaners. Excuse me. So, um, this is a Black & Decker glue gun. I have my um, affiliate link in the pinned comments there. So, if you want information on that. Alright, so, what I do, 
each ribbon takes five pieces. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Five pieces of ribbon for each flower. Now you can make them bigger, you can make them smaller, whatever you want to make them. I'm dropping stuff. So I'm going to make mine six inches, okay? So I'm going to cut five pieces at six inches long. Okay, so, you know, like I said, for each ribbon flower, you need, yeah, four inches is a little small. I would do at least five, um, okay, then what you want to do is you want to just stack your ribbons. Now, this is where it gets tricky, because when you're used to doing, cutting dovetails all the time, you want to cut the point off but these you want the point so what you want to do is you want to cut from the end of the ribbon in and that'll give you the point okay so you want to make sure this is really thick ribbon that you cut in so then you get that nice point can you guys see that okay okay you want to do that on both ends. Hey, Diane. Ooh, okay. So now you have five pieces and you have points on both ends. Oh, hey, Cindy. Welcome. Glad you're here. If you would like an alert, each time I go live, just type alert. Okay. So what you do is you take your ribbon, you fold it in half like that. Then you fold this side back, flip it over and fold that side back. Okay. And let me get my, and then I just save it here to hold it. Okay. So you do that with each. Oh, they even, it was four inches wide. Oh, okay. Yeah. That, that gets a little big too. So, Fold it in half, get a nice crease in there, fold that one back, and this one back, okay, and just lay that on top, fold it in half, <laughs> yeah, I did a, um, a candy cane with it the other day, and it really turned out pretty, I'll have to show you guys that with this ribbon. All right, so there's the third. Whoops, did I cut six? Oh, the second. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to stack them. It doesn't matter. I'm just using that to hold them down. So you just want to do that. Yeah, if you type in that you want a live alert, just please make sure that you respond to that message. Otherwise, you will not be get the messages, so you do have to respond to that message. And I'm also giving away a free Halloween wreath, so if you're interested in that, type in free, and that will give you information. And you just type on the free wreath and follow those directions. Okay, so now I have all five of them folded. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them. And I'm going to stack them on top of each other. So what I'm doing is I'm lining each of this part up with this part. Okay. So I'm just lining them up like that to kind of make them even. Okay. And then I'm just going to do the next one. Do the same way. So kind of line it up. Take each one. Line it up. Take the next one. Okay. All right. Okay. So now you have them all lined up like that. All right. And you want to flip it over. 
and you're going to kind of fold it in half to find the center and then you're going to take a pipe cleaner and you can use wire or pipe cleaner whatever you like I use a pipe cleaner kind of get it in the center there and then you're just going to twist you want to make sure that's really tight there okay and then what you do is you just kind of fluff your bow or your ribbon out okay And you just kind of put your fingers in between where you folded it and kind of separate your petals. Hey Sharon, how are you? I must not have got it right in the middle. Okay. So then that's what it looks like. Then what I do is I take one of these styrofoam balls. They're called um, from the filler jar. And I just put a little dab of, whoops, it's going to go. A little dab of hot glue here. And then I take that ball and I put it right in the center. And then I just hold it there for a little bit. Yeah, I love these flowers too. Okay, and then that's what it looks like. Now, you can put these on your wreaths. You can put them on um, all kinds of things. You can, I, you can put them on presents. You can put them on a Christmas tree. You can, um, you know, like if you're just given a money envelope, just put it on top of an envelope. It, the, anywhere you can use, like a bow, anything like that, you can use these. So, I know, aren't they cute? I love these things. You guys want to see more, or are you good? You want to see one more? Now you can also make, I cut these six inches. You can also make double ribbon flowers. So what you do with the double ribbon flowers is, let me see, where's my gold at? <clears throat> let me grab my two and a half inch gold. Okay. So if you make, whoops, if you make a double one, this is what I do for the double one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these eight inches. Now, the shorter or the longer you make your ribbons, the bigger your flower is going to be. Again, that's why I love my mesh holder, because it works great to hold my ribbon. Yep, I made, I have a little um, Christmas tree over here that I decorated with them. Okay. And then you're going to cut the points. And remember, it's different than the dovetail because you want the points. And this is really thick ribbon. Okay. All right, now you're going to take your second color, and this one is a gold, it kind of complements it, and I'm only going to cut this six inches. So I'm going to cut these six. Remember, you need five for each flower. Hey, Karen, how are you? Okay, and again, do the same thing. Stack them on top of each other. Uh, 
Um, it depends what size you want your flower. This one I did six inches. These I'm going to do the double ribbon. So I did um, eight inches on the outer one. I'm going to do six inches on the inner one. So now you do it the same exact way. Now, what you can do is if you want to stack them together, you can, or you can do them separately. So what you can do is fold it in half, fold these back, fold that back, and that's it. Okay. Like I said, you can either put it inside or you can just do it totally separate and just stack the flowers on top of each other. Um, you need six strips, or I'm sorry, five strips for each flower. And you can make them any size you want. This, I did six inches. Now this one's going to be eight. I did the outer one eight inches, so it's going to be a little bigger. Um, yes, it's two and a half inch ribbon. Yep. And with this, you can just find, like I said, a, a color coordinating ribbon and do an inside one for the two colors. Oh, no problem. Okay. And like I said, you can make your flowers bigger or smaller depending on the length of the ribbon that you cut. I think that the biggest size I've ever done is the 8 inches. I don't think I've done bigger than 8 inches. Um, but you can make them whatever size you want. I don't know that I'd go smaller than 4 inches because this is 6. And then you're getting kind of tiny. But it's just, you know, what you want your flowers to look like. Oh, thanks, Judy. Yeah, I started making these last year. Um, it wasn't my original design. I saw it, I forget, on YouTube or something. Um, and I just love them. So I have made a ton of them. And I sell them just the ribbon flowers. And I sell, you know, I put them in wreaths and that kind of stuff. So, okay. So now we're gonna, just going to do the same exact thing. We're going to stack them on top of each other. that okay just stack them on top um, I have used four inch ribbon um, I have some on the tree over there I'll show you okay so I have them all stacked okay and then you just want to take a pipe cleaner and put it in the middle Um, I, I know I did a candy cane before. I ha I don't think, I didn't do that one on a live. Right, Susie, don't you think so? I, like I said, I have some that I put on my tree. I, like, because you give money now, you just put them on your um, envelope. You can put them on your presents. It's a little bit different than a bow, you know? Okay, then I'm just going to take... I should probably, I don't have any blue of the center. I'd like to do like a really bright blue, but it's not going to happen. Oh, thanks, Natalie. And then you just hold that on there for a couple seconds. And that's a double one. See? So now you can see the size difference too. This one. I cut the ribbon six inches, and this one I cut the outer, <coughs> excuse me, the outer ribbons eight inches. So, however big you want them, it's totally up to you. You can do, you know, single 
ribbons. You can do double ribbons like this one. Um, you know, whatever you like. So I have to show you guys. I have this little tree over here that I put a bunch on it. Okay, so I have this tree kind of as a demonstration. Let me pull this up here. And okay, so you can see that. So like these are eight inch, these are little smaller ones. Um, you know, just different colors, different patterns. There's a snow one, you know, plaid one. Um, here's some bigger ones over here. There's a single one, a double one. There's a double one. Um, yeah, so, I mean, don't you, I mean, they're just so easy to make. And they're so pretty. And really, you can just change the look of anything by using these little flowers. Right? There's a double one with the red in the center. So... Yeah, just something different. Get that out of the way. Yep. Alrighty. I think that's it. Also pull the top ribbon flower up. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah, you mean this one. Yeah, I was just letting it dry. But yeah, you can actually pull it up to give it a little, you know, layered effect. Yep, I like to have that center, um, sorry, pull you guys down. Yeah, I like, pull. yeah, you pull that up once that glue's dry in the middle, and then it gives it more of a dimensional look, too. Yep. That's it. Okay, I think that's it for me today. Any other questions you guys may have on anything? You can't see. Yeah, so those are my ribbon flowers. I love making these. They're very easy to make. They're beautiful. Yep, you can do them for anything. For spring, for summer, for... Yep, you can... They have a, there's a lot of uses for these. I'm sure you could do a triple one. I've never done one, but absolutely. Then you could maybe add that, um, maybe this back on the inside. Yep. Yeah, the double ones really pop. Yep. So, um, Donna, I charge $3 each for these, and I charge $5 for these. Yep, little girl, absolutely, Susie, yep. Yep, make a little tiny one for a bow for the hair. Mm-hmm. Oh, the candy cane. You want to see the candy cane? Ugh. So this is the candy cane I made with this um, peacock ribbon. Isn't that cute? And then I just did, you know, a little gold bow on the front. Um, the balls I got, oh, no problem, Diane. The balls I got from, you can get them from AC Moore. You can get them from Michael's Hobby Lobby, Joann's. Absolutely, I ship, Marion. Yep, absolutely. Oh, and this is the wreath. You see the poison pumpkin wreath behind me? That's the wreath that I'm giving away in the, um, the giveaway, the wreath giveaway. So make sure you get on that. Yeah, I have lots of wreaths. Yeah, they're little foam balls. They're just little foam balls that have glitter on them. And I use these for a lot of things. Obviously, I just glue them on there. Um, you can also, last night, I, last night? What's today? No, Monday night. I did a wreath where I attached them to the end of the pipe cleaners in my wreath. I sold that wreath, so I'll show you. Um, but yeah, you can use all kinds of things. The ends of the candy cane, I just folded under and glued them. Yeah, make sure you go check out my Etsy shop if you guys um, need a wreath. I have plenty of wreaths on there. Or if you don't see something you like and want a different one, let me know. I can always do a custom order for you as well. So, yep, make sure you um, reply to the lives and the wreath. 
So that contest is going to be over uh, tomorrow night. So, yep. I know. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, I love the ribbons on the candy cane. They're so easy to make, and they're really great. So, yep. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. And don't forget, I will be on tomorrow night. Um, I'm always on Mondays and Thursday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, unless something comes up. Um, and then I pop on here and there. So um, thank you for watching. Please, please, please like and follow my page and share my page. Check out my Etsy shop and my YouTube channel. And if you want alerts, type in live and then answer the question. And if you want to get um, if to, Marion to get alerts, you just type in live and then you will get a response, a message from me. You have to reply to that message or you won't be on the list. Um, and then the Etsy shop, let me um, put that on here for you. That's my Etsy shop, so please go check out my Etsy shop. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I appreciate it. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you guys tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, yep, I, Sherry, I upload um, all my videos that I do here <clears throat> onto my YouTube channel. So you can go on my YouTube channel and see um, a lot of them. I don't have all of them on there yet, but a lot of them I have on there. Okay. All right, guys. Well, we've been on here for two hours. <laughs> I don't normally do this, guys. Two hours. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I'm going to go grab some lunch. Have a wonderful day. If you have any questions, just let me know. And I do try to go back and answer them as much as I can. Don't forget, respond to that live because otherwise you won't, um, you won't get on the list. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye.